Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. In this video, we'll look at Microsoft Management Console. So this will be the agenda. We'll see what is Microsoft Management Console. We'll see what is the purpose of this Microsoft Management Console or MMC. And we'll look at how to use the Microsoft Management Console. So what is Microsoft Management Console? So as we know that Windows operating system can be managed in many ways. And one of the ways is via Microsoft Management Console. So this Microsoft Management Console is a component of Microsoft Windows that provides system administrators and advanced users a graphical user interface for configuring and monitoring systems. So using this MMC, we can access various Windows utilities or tools provided by say other software vendors or for Windows operating system. So this MMC can be used by third party software vendors as well. They can integrate this MMC in their software. So the management console can host component object model or COM components called as snap-ins. So we'll see what snap-ins are in our next slides. So most of Microsoft's management tools are implemented as a Microsoft management console snap-in. What is the purpose of the snap-in or what is the purpose of Microsoft Management Console? So it is an application that provides graphical user interface and a programming framework where we can create, save and open consoles. Console is nothing but a collection of management tools. Now the console is used to manage Windows based hardware, software, network components and includes items such as controls, wizards, tasks, documentation and snap-ins. These items can come from Microsoft or other software vendors or they may be even user-defined. So in a layman's language, the term Microsoft Management Console refers to a window. And a snap-in refers to a Windows operating system component which can be managed independently. For example, device manager, event viewer, disk management, certificate, services, local users and groups. So these are some of the Windows components which can be managed say, independently. And we need to add these snap-ins or these components in the Microsoft Management Console or the window. So how to use Microsoft Management Console? So method number one, the run option. So you can simply press Windows R and you will get the run option. Type in MMC and press enter and you will get the Microsoft Management Console. So this is one of the methods. Method number two, you can simply search for MMC and uh, you will get this MMC and just hit enter and the blank Microsoft Management Console window will open up. And the third option can be open up the command prompt and just type in MMC in the command prompt and hit enter and uh, you will get this particular console. So use any of the methods, you will get this particular blank Microsoft Management Console. Now in this console, we need to add a snap-in and we will be, say, I'll be showing you the exact usage or the real-time usage in our labs section. So let us move on to the labs to understand Microsoft Management Console. So how it is a useful tool for any administrator. So 
So I have logged on to Atlanta DC now. So let me open up a blank Microsoft Management Console. So I'll right click and click on Run. And in the Run dialog box, I'll just type in MMC and I'll click OK. Now this is the blank Microsoft Management Console or MMC. So here we need to add the component, Windows component that we want to manage. And in the technical terminology, it's called as a snap-in. So I'll go to File and uh, click on Add, Remove, Snap-in. So these are all the components which can be managed independently. We have Active Directory, Domain Center, Sites and Services, Users and Computers, Computer Management, Device Manager, Disk Management, DNS, Event Viewer, we have group policy, so on and so forth, local users and groups, services. So these are all the individual components which can be managed. Now, let me cancel out of it and let me go to server manager. Now you will see these components over here as well under tools. So what Microsoft has done is Microsoft has created the management console and saved it for us. So even we can say add the snap-ins and save is as per our requirement. So let me open up DNS console over here through server manager and let us open up DNS console from say the Microsoft management console. So I'm, go I'm going to file, I have removed snap-in and I'm going to DNS. I'm clicking on add over here. So this DNS component is added into the console now. I'm clicking OK. And if you see over here, these two are identical. Okay. This DNS console and this DNS console or window, these two are absolutely identical. If you just expand it, Atlanta DC, and you will see everything identical over here. Atlanta DC and we have forest zone and we have a domain zone. So this DNS console is already saved by the operating system for us. Now if I close this console it will ask me do you want to save it or not. Okay, So just try to close it. So for the time being I will not save it. I will open up another console. So I will simply start. I will open up the console in the other other way now, other method. So I will click on start and just type in MMC. Keep on, I will use the search method now. So I got this over here. Again, it's a blank console. I will go to file. I will add remove snap in. Now, let's say I manage Active Directory. I manage DNS and uh, I manage remote computers okay so what I'll do is I can add multiple snap-ins in this console for example Active Directory Domains and Trusts, Active Directory Sites and Services, Active Directory Users and Computers so I manage Active Directory and sometimes I manage remote computers as well so I'll select Computer Management so I'll just click OK. So I have all the four components in one console now. Now the best part is I can save this particular console. So I'll just click on save. For the time being, I'll just save it on the desktop. I can say, say my windows or my window and click on save. Now next time, whenever I double click over here, I don't need to say I'll be able to say see all the four components so let me minimize this one okay it opened up see over here now so I don't have to go to individual say component like this over here go to tools and go to this no now so this is the beauty of Microsoft management console so what I do is I create a customized console for say myself and save it 
so if you want to add one more let's say i manage group policies as well okay so i'll select dns because i work on dns and group policies as well okay group policy management i'll just click on okay now and i click on file and i'll save it again so i don't need to open up server manager every time okay i don't i don't need to open up server manager every time because i have this single console which is saved now for me so just open it up it will take some time because it's opening up see a lot of components at the back it's connecting a lot of components at the back so it will take some time but eventually it will open up okay perfect so it opened up these components I, I think i didn't saved it that's the reason it went away but again if i add and let me add dns over here let me add group policy management click ok now let me go to file and click on save so we can add or remove snap-ins so it, let's say i don't want computer management anymore so i can highlight computer management and remove it and I can save this particular console. Let's say I don't want this computer management okay anymore. I'll go to file, add remove snap in computer management, okay, and I'll simply remove it. I don't want it. I'll just click OK and I will save it again. So this is what even I do when I say work on Windows environment. The components which I want or which I'm working on regular basis, I club them in a single console and save it. So I hope you have enjoyed these labs. So let's summarize what we have covered in this session. So we have covered Microsoft Management Console. We saw what is Microsoft Management Console, what is the purpose of Microsoft Management Console. We saw how to use Microsoft Management Console and we went on to understand the labs and how to save the console as per our requirement. So hope you have enjoyed today's session and thank you for joining and if you think this channel is helping you to learn anything new. Please subscribe and share this video with your technical community and enjoy your day.